The San Jose Earthquakes are an American professional soccer team based in San Jose, California, United States, that competes as a member of the Western Conference of Major League Soccer MLS. The franchise began play in 1996 originally as the San Jose Clash as one of the charter clubs of the league. The Earthquakes took part in the first game in MLS history, defeating DC United 1-0. The Earthquakes have won two MLS Cup titles, in 2001 and 2003, and two Supporters' Shields in 2005 and 2012. In 2002, the team played in its first CONCACAF Champions Cup now called the CONCACAF Champions League, making it to the quarterfinals. The team holds a fierce rivalry with the LA Galaxy known as the California Classico. In 2005, the then owner of the Earthquakes, Anschutz Entertainment Group, announced plans of the team relocating to Houston due to failing efforts to secure a soccer-specific stadium in San Jose. The organization in Houston would be considered an expansion team by the league, eventually becoming the Houston Dynamo, which began play in 2006. The Earthquakes returned after a two-year hiatus, resuming play in 2008. Argentinian Mechas Almeida is the Quakes' current head coach. Since 2015 the Earthquakes play their home games at Avaya Stadium. The team previously played its home games at Buckshaw Stadium on the Santa Clara University campus in Santa Clara, California from 2008 to 2014. In 2018, the club added the dubious MLS wooden spoon to its trophy case for ending up bottom of the MLS league table, finishing the season with 21 points in 34 games. Topic: History. Topic: <laughs> Roots of the Earthquakes 1974 to 1988. The franchise's roots trace back to 1974, when the North American Soccer League NASL awarded an expansion franchise to San Jose, named the Earthquakes. The name Earthquakes originally came from a newspaper contest in the San Jose Mercury News, in which fans were encouraged to send in suggestions for the name of the franchise. Earthquakes was chosen by the team's general manager Dick Berg, but was criticized due to San Jose's proximity to the San Andreas Fault. The NASL folded after the 1984 season and the Earthquakes played in the Western Soccer League WSL from 1985–88, under the ownership of Peter Bridgewater who sold the team in 1988. <laughs> Founding and early years 1994 In 1994, Daniel Van Voorhees, former owner of the American Professional Soccer League's San Jose Hawks, successfully led a San Jose bidding group that was awarded one of Major League Soccer's inaugural teams. At that time, he handed over all existing Hawks player contracts, front office resources and the rights to play in San Jose State University's Spartan Stadium to MLS in exchange for Type C stock in the league. He also became the franchise's investor, operator until outside concerns forced him to divest himself of these positions prior to the league's launch and accept a buyout from the league, leaving the franchise league owned for several years. Meanwhile, a direct connection to the earlier earthquakes came in the person of Peter Bridgewater, named as general manager of the MLS team. Although Bridgewater still owned the rights to the Earthquakes' name and logo, the team became known as the Clash at the urging of Nike, a major investor in MLS. On December 7, 1995, Bridgewater hired Laurie Calloway as the team's first coach, providing a second direct connection with the NASL Earthquakes, as well as a connection with the Hawks. On January 23, 1996, the Clash acquired U.S. national team star Eric Winalda, despite the fact that Winalda and Calloway did not get along during their time together with the Hawks. The Clash's connections to the Blackhawks continued when the club made the first trade in MLS history, sending Rhett Hardy to the MetroStars for Troy Dyack. San Jose was an integral part of the launching of MLS, hosting the league's inaugural game at Spartan Stadium before a crowd of 31,683 on April 6, 1996. The crowd did not go away disappointed as San Jose won its first game on the first goal in MLS history from Eric Winalda, defeating DC United 1–0. One month later, the club made history again, as they hosted the Los Angeles Galaxy in a match that drew 31,728 fans to Spartan Stadium, setting the record for attendance at a sporting event in the city of San Jose. But Winalda and Callaway were soon at each other's throats again, eventually leading to a locker room brawl between Winalda and John Doyle. The skirmish reached memorable proportions when Winalda hired an airplane to tow a banner demanding Callaway's firing. Although the clash made the postseason in the inaugural MLS season in 1996, and Doyle earned recognition as the best MLS defender, the team floundered in 1997. By mid-season the team was sinking fast and Bridgewater fired Callaway and replaced him with Brian Quinn. The clash finished 1997 at the bottom of the Western Conference standings with a 12–20 record. 
Things were no better in 1998, when the team finished 13–19 and well out of playoff contention. During the 1999 preseason, the saga of player-coach antagonism continued when Richard Goff left the team after an argument with Quinn. By the end of 1999, Quinn was done and the team released him to hire Lothar Osiander. Topic: <laughs> Return of the Earthquakes 1999 to 2005. The franchise's official name changed from Clash to Earthquakes on October 27, 1999. After missing four consecutive post-seasons with three different coaches, the Earthquakes hired head coach Frank Yallop days before the 2001 MLS Superdraft. Yallop's personnel changes and deft coaching with the help of assistant coach Dominic Kinnear and goalkeeper coach Tim Hanley, along with the allocation of star forward Landon Donovan on loan from Bayer Leverkusen, quickly turned around the Earthquakes on field fortunes, spurring the biggest regular season turnaround in league history from 29 points in 2000 to 45 points in 2001 and leading the team to a 2-1 MLS Cup 2001 overtime victory over the arch-rival Los Angeles Galaxy. The Quakes followed with two consecutive runners-up finishes for the MLS Supporters' Shield and a 4-2 MLS Cup 2003 win over the Chicago Fire. Prior to reaching the 2003 final, the Earthquakes had rallied from four goals down to beat the Galaxy, 5-4 on aggregate, in a first-round playoff that many MLS watchers described as the greatest in league history. Following the season, Yallop returned to his native Canada to coach the Canadian men's national soccer team being named to the post on December 16. Assistant coach Kinnear was then promoted to head coach, and former San Jose player John Doyle was named as his assistant. Having won two MLS Cup titles in three years, the Earthquakes were poised for greater success both on and off the field. However, in January 2004, general manager Johnny Moore, whose roots with the club dated back to his days as a player for the NASL Earthquakes, resigned after AEG and MLS considered allowing the team to be rebranded as San Jose America with ownership to transfer to the owners of Mexico's Club America. Earthquake fans were similarly outraged at the proposed rebranding, coming just months after the MLS Cup. Former Los Angeles Galaxy defender Alexi Lalas was named as Moore's replacement. Under Lalas' management, the club planned a move to Houston. Meanwhile, when the Quake star player, Landon Donovan, played briefly in Germany, Lalas traded away his rights, enabling Lalas' former team, the Galaxy, to acquire him. On the field, Kinnear led the team to two more playoff appearances, including an MLS Supporters' Shield win in 2005. Topic. Hiatus and return 2006 to 2008. Following the conclusion of the 2005 season, on December 15, the then owner of the San Jose Earthquakes, Anschutz Entertainment Group, announced that the team was moving to Houston for the 2006 season because of the failure of efforts to secure a soccer-specific stadium for the team in San Jose. However, MLS Commissioner Don Garber said that the Earthquakes' name, colors, logo, wordmark, history and competitive records would not be transferred, similar to the Cleveland Browns deal in the National Football League. The San Jose franchise was officially put on hiatus while the players, head coach Dominic Kinnear and some of his coaching staff were moved to Houston, where they became, first, Houston 1836, then Houston Dynamo. The Houston Dynamo is technically considered an expansion team by MLS just as the Baltimore Ravens is by the NFL. On May 24, 2006, an agreement was reached between Major League Soccer and the principal owners of the Oakland Athletics baseball team, Lewis Wolfe and John Fisher, granting them a three-year exclusive option to develop a soccer-specific stadium and bring an expansion franchise to the San Francisco Bay Area. In September 2006, after nearly nine months of inactivity displaying only Commissioner Garber's December 2005 letter of condolence to Earthquakes fans over the team's relocation, the team's website was revived to display updates on the progress of starting up the expansion San Jose Earthquakes franchise and to allow fans to sign up for the Earthquake Soccer, LLC newsletter. On July 18, 2007, Commissioner Don Garber announced that the San Jose Earthquakes would resume play starting in the 2008 season after Lou Wolf exercised his option to purchase the new expansion team. While functionally being the 14th franchise to join MLS, the team retained all records, logos, colors and titles of the 1996-2005 franchise and is a continuation of that franchise. Michael Crowley, also Oakland A's president at the time, led the relaunched franchise and served as president until 2010. In October 2007 the Earthquakes announced they would be moving their offices from the Fairmont Hotel in downtown San Jose to an office park across the street from their temporary home, Buckshaw Stadium, and across the Caltrain tracks from the location of the former FMC site. On November 6, 2007, the team announced that former Earthquakes coach Frank Yallop was returning to the team as head coach. 
According to ESPN.com, the earthquakes compensated Yallop's previous employer, the Los Angeles Galaxy, with a third round pick in the 2008 MLS Superdraft. In 2008, England's Darren Huckabee, the MLS Newcomer of the Year, and Ireland's Ronnie O'Brien, who made 28 appearances for the earthquakes, helped anchor the offense, combining for 10 goals and 10 assists. Both played a key part of the team's nine game unbeaten streak that saw San Jose push towards a playoff berth. They also failed to qualify for the U.S. Open Cup, losing to Real Salt Lake 4-0 in the first round of qualifying. On January 27, 2009, Amway Global signed a three-year deal with the Earthquakes to become the team's official jersey sponsor. The club made an historic trade on June 9, 2009, when they acquired Chris Wondolowski from Houston. The Quakes missed out on the playoffs for a second consecutive season in 2009 but looked to build on a solid second half of the year, which saw them go 4-4-4 since the All-Star break. The Earthquakes finished in 14th place and failing to qualify for the playoffs. The Earthquakes also failed to qualify for the U.S. Open Cup, losing to New York Red Bulls on April 29, 2-1. In 2010, the San Jose Earthquakes qualified for the playoffs as the West's no. 6 seed with 46 points. In the 2010 MLS playoffs, they were matched up with the number one seeded New York Red Bulls. After losing the first game by a score of 1-0, the Earthquakes defeated the Red Bulls in the second game by a score of 3-1 to win the aggregate, 3-2, and upset New York. In the single elimination semi-final match against the Colorado Rapids, at Colorado, the Quakes suffered a 1-0 defeat. In 2011, the San Jose Earthquakes missed the playoffs after they finished 7th in the West and 14th in all of MLS. Topic. The Goonies 2012-2014. In 2012, the San Jose Earthquakes had the best start in franchise history. The team established a habit of scoring late goals to tie or win games. The first was a match against Real Salt Lake on April 21, 2012, scoring two goals in stoppage time to win 3-1. The next week, a stoppage time goal produced a win against the Philadelphia Union. Two more games resulted in ties with late goals, both scored by Alan Gordon. On May 23, 2012, against the LA Galaxy, the Quakes scored three times in 18 minutes to win 3-2. After this game striker Stephen Lenhart declared, Goonies never say die, a reference to the movie The Goonies, and this was made into the rally cry of the team. The Quakes ended the 2012 regular season with 66 points and 72 goals, both team records, with 17 of those points created by goals scored in the 84th minute or later. The team clinched the Supporters' Shield, its first major trophy since their return to San Jose, and qualified for their first CONCACAF Champions League tournament as a franchise in 2013. They returned to the playoffs for the first time since their 2010 season and faced two games against LA Galaxy. In their first playoff game, the Quakes scored a stoppage time goal to take the away leg 1-0, but were knocked out of the playoffs following a 3-1 loss at home, 3-2 on aggregate, their only loss at Buckshaw Stadium for the season. In 2013, the Quakes began the year facing adversity with numerous players recovering from injury. With added depth in preparation for the upcoming CONCACAF Champions League, they began the task of duplicating the success of 2012. While the style of scoring late goals was still present in games against New York, Portland and Montreal, the team struggled to find success and quickly found themselves at the bottom of the Western Conference. The slow start of the team led to the departure of coach Frank Yallop and Mark Watson was named interim coach. On June 29, 2013, the Quakes played the LA Galaxy in the California Classico. Despite being down 2-0 and having Victor Bernardes ejected, the Quakes staged another comeback, scoring twice in stoppage time to win 3-2, becoming the first MLS team to do so. On August 7, 2013, the Earthquakes debuted in the 2013-14 CONCACAF Champions League for the first time since their return to MLS. They lost the away game to the Montreal Impact 1-0. On October 23, 2013, the Earthquakes won Group 5 on goal differential with a win at home against Heredia, and they moved on to the knockout stage of the tournament. Despite a league best record in games played after June, the Quakes failed to qualify for the 2013 playoffs, losing the final spot to Colorado on a goal differential tiebreaker. The final home game of the season, a 2 0 win against FC Dallas, saw the final minutes of professional soccer for Ramiro Corrales, who had announced his retirement. Corrales was the last remaining active player who played in the inaugural season of MLS. The Quakes in their 2014 campaign began, playing in the quarterfinals against Toluca in a two-game series in the 2013-14 CONCACAF Champions League. Scoring a goal in stoppage time in the first game, the Quakes went to Mexico 1-1 on aggregate. In the second game, the game tied in regulation. The Quakes faced Toluca in overtime where neither team could score against the other and the game went on to penalties. The Earthquakes lost 5-4 against Toluca in penalties and were eliminated. 
San Jose ended the 2014 MLS season with the club's worst ever record, winning only six matches, and suffering a 15-match winless streak. That streak surpassed the Quakes' previous record of 13 in 2011, and matched the second worst in league history. Return of Dominic Kinnear 2015 The Earthquakes welcomed back Dominic Kinnear to the club as coach after a nine-year tenure in Houston. The franchise's long-awaited stadium, Avaya Stadium, was the first professional soccer-specific stadium in the Bay Area when it opened on March 22. The 2015 season was a marked improvement over the previous season, but the Earthquakes still failed to reach the playoffs despite a late surge. Chris Wondolowski became only the ninth player in MLS history to score 100 goals with a penalty in a 1 1 draw against Orlando. On August 29, 2016, the Earthquakes parted ways with longtime general manager John Doyle. Earthquakes president Dave Caval stated that he felt the Earthquakes needed a fresh approach. Technical director Chris Leach was appointed as interim GM. The Fioranelli era. 2017 -present. Following the firing of John Doyle, it was announced on January 5, 2017, that Jesse Fioranelli had been hired as general manager. He joined San Jose from AS Roma and had previously also worked at Roma's cross city rival SS Lazio. Fioranelli made clear early on that he would be prioritizing youth development, international scouting, and generally creating a new identity for San Jose that was younger, more dynamic, and more attacking, intentions which were reflected by his off season acquisitions of Jamir Hiker, Florian Jungwirth, Marco Arena, Harold Cummings, and Danny Hosen using targeted allocation money. He also expressed the necessity of the team reaching the playoffs in 2017, as it had not done so since 2012. Illustrating the seriousness of his commitment to improving San Jose, within one week in April Fioranelli made two key additions to the technical staff with the hiring of Alex Cavallo as Director of Methodology and Bruno Costa as Head of Scouting. Dave Caval stepped down from his role as President on June 1, to be replaced by former Aston Villa FC Chief Executive and Arsenal FC Chief Commercial Officer Tom Fox. On June 22, 2017, San Jose announced Fioranelli's first designated player signing, Georgian attacking midfielder Vaco, who would join San Jose from SBV Vitesse. Fioranelli took his ambitions for San Jose a step further just several days later, when he announced on June 25, 2017, that Dominic Kinnear had been fired, and would be replaced immediately and permanently by Chris Leach, the club's technical director and former interim general manager. Assistant coach John Spencer was also let go, and was replaced by Covalo. The timing of the firing came as somewhat of a surprise, as it was announced hours after San Jose defeated Real Salt Lake 2-1 at home. Fioranelli said of the firing that, coming off of a win, it was not reactionary, and rather he had, in the last two to three months, matured a gut feeling as to where the club stands, and that his respect for Kinnear would not have allowed him to want to go for another three months knowing they would have parted ways at the end of the season. In his first interview as head coach, Leach reiterated Fioranelli's previously stated goals, saying that, The goal of the team is to make the playoffs. His first outing as head coach on June 28, 2017, was successful, seeing the Earthquakes achieve their first ever victory over an MLS side in the U.S. Open Cup with a 2 1 victory against Seattle Sounders FC that would advance them to the USOC quarter finals for the first time since 2012. Leach's first MLS match as head coach was a 2 1 win over the LA Galaxy at Stanford Stadium on July 1, in which Chris Wondolowski scored the equalizing goal off of an assist from goalkeeper David Bingham and substitute Shea Salinas scored the winner in the 93rd minute. The team experienced its first loss under Leach three days later on July 4 at Bobby Dodd Stadium, in a 4-2 loss to Atlanta United FC following red cards to both Kofi Sarkodie and Victor Bernardes. However, this match also saw Tommy Thompson score his first league goal and Chris Wondolowski break Ramiro Corrales' record for career starts at San Jose with his 229th start, as well as tie the league record for most goals scored away at 63. On July 7, 2017, a multi-year collaboration between the Earthquakes and the German Football Association was announced focused on knowledge exchange, game development and machine learning." On July 10, 2017, the Earthquakes defeated the Galaxy 3-2 at home, following a brace from Chris Wondolowski and Danny Hosen's second goal of the tournament, to advance to the semi-finals of the U.S. Open Cup for the first time since 2004 and for only the second time in club history. Wondolowski wore the number 38 in this match in honor of teammate Matthias Silva, who nearly drowned the previous week. New signing Vaco was introduced at the club for the first time during halftime. 
Vaco made his club debut four days later as a 63rd minute substitution in San Jose's 4 1 friendly defeat of Eintracht Frankfurt, and shortly afterwards scored in his MLS debut as a half time substitute against the New York Red Bulls at Red Bull Arena on July 19. The Earthquakes announced a second new partnership aimed at pursuing the implementation of artificial intelligence and machine learning on July 21 with Los Angeles based company Second Spectrum, Inc., the first of its kind in the league and inspired by the company's partnerships with the NBA and specifically the Golden State Warriors. Per this agreement, a new system was installed at Avaya Stadium to track players during matches and gather data on tactics and performance, to be delivered to players' mobile devices directly after games. The signing of Swiss defender Francois Affalta from FC Luzon was announced later the same day. San Jose lost in the Open Cup semi finals to Sporting Kansas City, for the second time in franchise history, in sudden death penalties on August 9. On August 19, Wondolowski became the first player in MLS history to score 10 or more goals in eight consecutive seasons, following his successful penalty kick in the dying moments of a 2 2 home draw against the Philadelphia Union. When Shea Salinas was tripped in the box by Joshua Yarrow, San Jose qualified for the 2017 MLS Cup playoffs, the club's first playoff appearance since 2012, following a 3-2 win at home on October 22 over Minnesota United FC in which Danny Hosen and Chris Wondolowski each recorded a goal and an assist, and substitute Marco Areña scored the stoppage time winner. This sent the team on to play a knockout round match on the road against Vancouver Whitecaps FC on October 25. However, the team was defeated 5-0. On November 24, 2017, Mikhail Stara, formerly a BK Hacken, was announced as the team's new head coach. Leach returned to his previous role as the club's technical director. San Jose began to make roster moves not long after with contract options being declined for players, most notably for defender Victor Bernardes and goalkeeper David Bingham who spent six and seven years with the Earthquakes organization respectively. San Jose traded Bingham's MLS rights to their rival Los Angeles Galaxy on December 18. December also brought additions to the roster, reflecting different aspects of San Jose's leadership and management. On December 1, 2017, Joel Kweiberg was signed from IF Bromopokana where he had helped to lead the team to two consecutive promotions, reaching Sweden's Topic League. The next signing of the off-season was homegrown goalkeeper JT Marchinkowski, who had finished his third year at Georgetown. Just over a week later, San Jose announced in a joint press conference with their USL affiliate Reno 1868 that they had signed three players from the team, Luis Felipe, Chris Wien, and Jimmy Oxford. Reno's club president elaborated on what the signings meant for both organizations, stating, "...today's news delivers on that promise to compete in Reno while developing the future of San Jose." The next day San Jose continued on their developmental-based signings with defender Jacob Akinurich announced as signed straight from their academy at 15 years old, San Jose's youngest ever player and the eighth youngest player in MLS history. On December 20, the first designated player and second Swedish signing under Staha's tenure was officially brought to San Jose. Magnus Eriksson joined from Djurgardens if where he co-led the Alsvenskan as top scorer in the 2017 season. Topic: <laughs> Creston shirt. Since their inception, the Earthquakes have played in a color scheme featuring blue and black as dominant colors, usually with white highlights. The original San Jose Clash logo featured a stylized scorpion in black and red with a white clash wordmark. When they rebranded to the Earthquakes in 2000, the team badge featured an inverted triangular shield containing a soccer ball invoking the rising sun used in the logo for the city of San Jose, a stylized Earthquakes wordmark, and a color palette of blue, black, white and silver. The three points of the triangular shield represented the three largest communities of the Bay Area San Jose, San Francisco and Oakland. The team rebranded again on January 30, 2014, to a new Creston uniform. While still featuring blue and black, as well as a new chevron design that invokes the geologic theme of the team's name, the new design also featured the year 1974 in red. This is an explicit reference of lineage to the previous NASL incarnation of the earthquakes that had founded that year. On February 17, 2017, San Jose released its new home kit at a jersey release party at San Pedro Square. The new kit is black, a callback to the black Goonies kits of the historic 2012 season, and features the blue slipstrike design from the crest on the front. Also included is a red neck tape, referring again to the team's NASL history, SJ74, in blue on the bottom left corner, and the words, Unity, Devotion, and Heritage, written in white across the blue border on the right sleeve. On February 11, 2018, the Earthquakes released their new away kit, the Navy SEAL Foundation jersey, and announced that 5% of each jersey sale would be donated to the foundation, becoming the first club in MLS history to donate part of its jersey revenue to a nonprofit organization. 
The Jersey release party was held near the site of the USS Hornet Museum and the kit itself presented by a retired SEAL alongside squad members Tommy Thompson, Joel Quiberg, and, offshore in a military rescue boat, Nick Lima and Jackson Ewell. <laughs> Uniform history Home away Topic. Stadium U.S. Open Cup Nagoesco Stadium, San Francisco, California July 24, 2001 VSLA Galaxy Kagan Stadium, Stanford, California 2011-2012 Kezar Stadium, San Francisco, California 2012-2014 On January 13, 2007, the San Jose Mercury News reported that the city of San Jose, San Jose State University and the earthquake's owners were in negotiations to build a soccer stadium just east of the earthquake's previous home, Spartan Stadium. The new facility, to have 22,000 permanent seats but be expandable to a capacity of 30,000 for single games, would be privately built by Lewis Wolfe and John Fisher, the primary owners of the earthquakes, with San Jose State providing the needed land. Additionally, the team and the university would build community soccer fields across Center Road in Kelly Park using San Jose Municipal Bond money that had been approved years earlier for the purpose but never spent. The plan was for the new version of the San Jose Earthquakes to play in Spartan Stadium during the 2008 MLS season, then move into the new stadium in 2009. Plans for the stadium collapsed on April 19 of that year after the Earthquakes and SJSU could not come to an agreement on revenue sharing. <laughs> Avaya Stadium On May 8, the City of San Jose and Earthquake Soccer, LLC confirmed that their new primary focus was on a site near San Jose International Airport on the site of the former FMC plant. The new site was owned by the city, which was exploring either leasing it to Earthquake Soccer, LLC or selling it outright. The 75-acre site is adjacent to not only the airport but the planned BART extension to Santa Clara and the existing Santa Clara Caltrain Station, and near both Interstate 880 and U.S. Route 101. On June 12, 2007, the San Jose City Council voted unanimously to enter into a Memorandum of Understanding to explore construction of a new stadium to bring MLS back to San Jose and adopted a resolution authorizing the city manager to enter into an exclusive right to negotiate agreement with Wolf and his partners regarding the potential development of the former FMC site. The first payment on the new stadium land of $3 million was made in June 2008. The preliminary designs were released to the public on September 19, 2009. Avaya Stadium was slated to be a three-sided European-style stadium with 18,000 permanent seats and a grass berm at the open end. On March 16, 2010, the San Jose City Council voted 9-0 to rezone the Airport West property to allow for development of the new Avaya Stadium. The San Jose Earthquakes franchise made history when 6,256 people participated in groundbreaking for the new stadium. This set a world record by Guinness World Records as the largest ever crowd to participate in a groundbreaking ceremony. The construction was completed in early 2015 and hosted its first event, a friendly, preseason match against LA Galaxy, on February 28, 2015. The stadium's official opening took place on March 22, 2015, when the Earthquakes hosted Chicago Fire for their first home game of the 2015 MLS regular season. Fatai Alasha scored the first official, regular season goal at Avaya in the fifth minute of the 2-1 victory. Topic. Club culture Topic. Rivalries The California Classico is a rivalry between two major league soccer teams, the LA Galaxy and the San Jose Earthquakes, which existed from 1996 to 2005 and was resumed in 2008. It is considered to be one of the oldest rivalries in American soccer. The rivalry originated from the historical Northern California vs. Southern California sporting and cultural rivalries, as well as from the relative proximity of the cities about 360 miles apart which allows rival fans to attend each other's games. While there have been several players to play for both teams beforehand, the rivalry intensified after the Anschutz Entertainment Group owner of the Los Angeles Galaxy took sole ownership of the San Jose Earthquakes in December 2002. The rivalry reached its peak from 2001 to 2005, during which time the Earthquakes and the Galaxy combined to win four MLS Cup titles in a five-year period. Both clubs reached MLS Cup 2001, with San Jose posting a 2-1 overtime victory on goals by Landon Donovan and Dwayne DeRosario. 
The Heritage Cup with Seattle Sounders FC was begun in the 2009 MLS season by the respective supporters groups. Any present or future MLS teams that carry on the names of their NASL predecessors are eligible for the Cup, but supporters of the other eligible MLS teams Portland Timbers and Vancouver Whitecaps have chosen not to participate. San Jose and Seattle have had a rivalry since the NASL. However, it did not completely resurface during the 2009 season with fans of both teams viewing other clubs as bigger rivals. That season, the first MLS meeting of the teams was not considered for the competition due to the schedule consisting of two games in Seattle and only one in San Jose. Seattle won the initial meeting at home 2-0 and the second 2-1. The Earthquakes won the inaugural Cup on goal scored after a 4-0 home victory on August 2, 2009. <laughs> Support Among the supporters groups affiliated with the Earthquakes are the San Jose Ultras, Club Quake, Soccer Silicon Valley, the Casbah, Imperio Sismico, and the Fault Line. An Earthquakes fan was arrested for assaulting a Portland Timbers fan after taunting the group in April 2013. The 1906 Ultras responded via Twitter, "Arrests issue addressed," and to be moving beyond the issue ahead of a travel ban that was lifted by Major League Soccer just days prior. Punk musician Lars Frederiksen is a supporter of the Earthquakes. Along with his band, the old firm Casuals, he wrote the new anthem and theme song, Never Say Die, for the club, which was performed as part of the team's rebranding ceremony on January 30, 2014. The song features backing vocals by various team members. Frederiksen said of the team that they are the most punk rock team in the MLS. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mascots. Jose Clash 1996 to 1999 Richter the Cyberdog 2000 to 2002 Q 2004 2005 2008 present there was no mascot in 2003 On April 26 2010 Q was one of three mascots featured on KNTV along with San Jose Sharks mascot SJ Sharky and San Jose Giants mascot Gigante Topic Revenue and profitability At the beginning of 2013, the Quakes had 5,000 season ticket holders, and although revenues had been increasing, the Quakes stadium did not allow them to generate sufficient revenues to be profitable. Quakes management predicted in 2013 that season ticket sales would double once they move into their new stadium, and the Quakes would become profitable at that time. Management also stated that they are pursuing independent revenue streams that will provide the team with real and lasting financial freedom." With the completion of their new soccer-specific Avaya Stadium, in early 2015 the Earthquakes reached their cap of 12,000 season tickets sold. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey sponsors There was no Jersey sponsor in 2005, 2008, 2012, 2013, 2014 and 2015. Topic. Stadium sponsors Avaya 2015 present Topic. Broadcasting San Jose Earthquakes games are televised locally on NBC Sports California, NBC Sports California HD, NBC Sports Bay Area, NBC Sports Bay Area HD and NBC owned and operated station KNTV with Anthony Passarelli providing the play-by-play, -play, Chris Dangerfield providing color analysis and Danielle Slayton providing reports from the sideline. A number of games are instead televised nationally on Fox Sports 1, Fox Sports 2, ESPN 2, ESPN 2 HD, ESPN Deportes, ESPN Deportes HD, Unimas, Unimas HD and Univision Deportes Network, Univision Deportes Network HD. On the radio, all Earthquakes games are broadcast in English on KNBR 1050 AM, the sports leader, and in Spanish on KZSF, La Caliente. Announcer Ted Ramey works as the primary English language radio play by play announcer along with radio color analyst and Earthquakes legend Joe Cannon, their goalie for many years, while Carlos Cesar Rivera serves as the Spanish language radio play by play announcer. English coverage is also streamed live on KNBR.com and the KNBR app. La Caliente Spanish coverage is simulcasted in Spanish language SAP either on NBC Sports California or NBC Sports Bay Area. Topic. Players and staff Topic.
Topic: <laughs> Current roster. As of January 5, 2019. Topic: <laughs> Team management. As of November 13, 2018. Topic: Honors. Topic Team MLS Cup Winners two two thousand and one two thousand and three Supporters Shield Winners two two thousand and five twenty twelve Runners up two two thousand and two two thousand and three Western Conference Winners Playoff two two thousand and one two thousand and three Winners Regular Season three two thousand and three two thousand and five twenty twelve Individual Club Awards MLS Fair Play Award 2 2001 2010 Topic Player Topic Record Topic Year by year Asterisk one supporters shield. Topic International Tournaments. Two thousand and two CONCACAF Champions Cup first round v Club Deportivo Olimpia one to zero three to one Earthquakes advanced four to one on aggregate. Quarterfinals v CF Pachuca zero to three one to zero Pachuca advanced three to one on aggregate. Two thousand and three Lamanga Cup group stage v Rosenborg BK zero to two. Group Stage V, FC Ruben Kazan 1-1 Group Stage V, Viking FK 1-3 7th place match V, Lin Oslo 3-12003 CONCACAF Champions Cup First Round V, CSD Municipal 2-4, 2-1 Municipal Advanced 5-4 on aggregate 2004 La Manga Cup Group Stage V, GIF Sunsvall 3-1 Group Stage V. Stabic Football 2-1 Semi-Finals V, Viking FK 1-1 Viking Stavanger Advanced 5-3 on penalties Third place match v FC Dynamo Kiev 1 to 1 Earthquakes 1 6 to 5 on penalties 2004 Concacaf Champions Cup quarterfinals v LD Alajulens 0 to 3 1 to 0 Alajulens advanced 3 to 1 on aggregate 2013 14 Concacaf Champions League group stage v Montreal Impact 0 to 1 Group stage v Heredia Jaguars de Pitan 0 to 1 Group stage v Montreal Impact 3 to 0 Group stage v Heredia Jaguars de Pitan 1 to 0 Quarterfinals v Deportivo Toluca FC. One to one, one to one. Toluca advanced five to four on penalties. Topic: Player records. Topic: Career records. Statistics below are for all-time leaders. Statistics are for regular season only. Bold indicates active players. As of June 3, 2019. Topic: Single season records. As of October 24, 2016. Topic: Average attendance. As of March 17, 2017, notes. A dash means that the team missed the playoffs that year. The years marked with an asterisk show the seasons in which average attendance exceeded the regular home stadium's capacity. Attendance exceeded capacity because the Earthquakes played select matches at larger stadiums throughout the Bay Area. NHG, refers to the team not having played at home during the playoffs. Green and red shading show the team's highest and lowest season attendances respectively. All-time attendance, 12,787-12,678 regular season, playoffs. Topic. Leadership and players Topic. Hall of Fame Topic. Team captains
Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Head coaches. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> General managers. Topic ownership Major League Soccer 1996 to 98 Craft Sports Group 1999 Silicon Valley Sports and Entertainment 2001 Silicon Valley Sports and Entertainment Operations Anschutz Entertainment Group Investment 2002 Anschutz Entertainment Group 2003-205 Earthquake Soccer LLC 2007 Topic See also San Jose Earthquakes 1974 2007 MLS expansion draft List of San Jose Earthquakes rosters <laughs>